Hi everyone, Danny, GDL Automotive. Uh, another one of our videos, we're gonna call this uh, Tone Wheel Part Two. So we've done another video explaining the, uh, the recall surrounding this part in my hand here and the Tone Wheel and what happens um, and why there's a recall for it. Uh, what we have discovered is uh, one of the primary symptoms to this issue happening is that the vehicle won't turn itself off when you uh, try to turn the vehicle off once you've parked up, the car keeps running and you have to pull a fuel pump relay or an injector relay or something on the diesels we're talking about here. Now, for the purposes of my video, I'm actually sitting in an SRT, which is a V8 petrol, um, which the SRTs don't actually do this issue, but um, it's Saturday morning and it's the only Jeep in the shop right now, but it'll still demonstrate what I'm talking about in a minute. So... Uh, if you're not sure if your issues ha this, uh, there's a couple of quick things you can do to check, but of note is obviously, as I said before, the vehicle won't turn off. Now, what we are seeing is a couple of dealers across the country um, somehow are not aware of this problem. So customers are coming in and saying, my Jeep won't turn off, and then they're quoting uh, key fobs, ignition barrels, um, skim readers. I've got one here uh, in the interest of not defaming a dealer I have covered up which dealership it is. But as you can see here, this customer has been quoted uh, over $4,000 to replace a whole heap of stuff that the vehicle doesn't need um, because the car won't turn itself off. A steering column module, a skim set, key blades, etc. So if you've got a diesel that won't turn off, um, don't go replacing key modules and whatnot. Start with this. Uh, you've got to pull the gearbox out. So if you don't know what you're doing, get someone who does. But another thing that we have discovered on the diesels, and this is what I'm going to show you on an SRT, when that tone wheel plays up, um, this here that says press brake and push button to start, when the tone wheel's playing up, it will say depress clutch. Obviously, this... In the Australian market, the Grand Cherokee WK2 didn't come in a manual. But what we've seen is when the tone wheel plays up, it does something electronically and the dash starts telling you to put your clutch in. So if you're getting a car, a Grand Cherokee WK2 that won't turn off and the dash is telling you to put a clutch in, 100% change this. Don't change anything else. 